San Francisco, a cultural and financial center of the Western United States and one of the country's most cosmopolitan cities. San Francisco has a firm position in the romantic fantasy of the United States of America, a cool, sophisticated, attractive, worldly seaport whose steep streets provide spectacular vistas of one of the world's most beautiful bays. What San Francisco looked like 100 years ago was life before is as beautiful as it is today. San Francisco Bay is a drowned river valley that was submerged after the last glacial ice sheets melting. The tidelands' enthusiastic and profitable filling has decreased their extent at mean high tide from around 700 square miles in 1880 to a mere 435 square miles now. The Bay Area began the year 1920 with a boom. A terrifying noise. At around 4 in the afternoon on New Year's Day, 5,000 pounds of black powder exploded at the Hercules Powder Company, most likely caused by an errant bullet from a coyote hunter's gun. The concussive impact was so powerful that Vallejo residents across the Karkins Channel feared Mare Island's powder stockpile had exploded. Windows cracked, and the powder factory's whole structure was destroyed. The year saw a lot of change in San Francisco. After more than a decade, the city had been totally restored and was back on its feet. When troops returned from World War I, its employment expanded, and more San Franciscans could afford luxuries like vehicles, excursions to amusement parks like Playland, and lavish meals. The Volstead Act went into effect nationally on January 17, 1920, prohibiting the sale of alcohol in practically all situations. San Francisco went all out for the city's final permitted alcoholic New Year's night on December 31, 1919. San Francisco is one of the places with exquisite streets, but people in 1920s would often ignore marking crosswalks. Cities attempted to designate crosswalks with painted lines beginning in 1915 and especially in 1920, but most people disregarded these. According to a Kansas City safety expert, when police attempted to keep people off the road, many of the women demanded that police step aside. In one documented incident, women used parasols on police officers. People in San Francisco who believed they were minding their own business were drawn into mocked up outdoor courtrooms during a 1920 safety drive. They were lectured on the dangers of jaywalking in front of a gathering of spectators. As the 1920s progressed, more vehicles were sold and the streets became extremely crowded and contested. Cars, according to streetcar operators, clogged thoroughfares and slowed down their lines, causing late runs and generally inconveniencing passengers. While they weren't driving through hectic metropolitan streets, motorists parked everywhere, crowding curbsides too deep. During this period, attempts to control and standardize traffic patterns began, with lanes, crosswalks, traffic lights, and parking laws gradually appearing as solutions to the difficulties caused by tens of thousands of private automobiles crowding the streets. Fashion trends are also noticeable in the streets of San Francisco. The fashion in San Francisco in the 1920s was much more dapper. Those who had survived World War I and the Spanish flu, which killed even more people than the fighting, were eager to live life to the fullest when the 1920s arrived. The attire of San Francisco in the 1920s was not limited to stuffy ballrooms. Ladies had their own appearance that was distinct from the rest of society. These women dressed to party, and party they did, aided by unlawful spirits at the city's many dance clubs, where hard liquor was ubiquitous. Ladies violated prohibition, drank slog, had affairs, and wore clothing that contradicted traditional fashion. Gowns were beaded, sleeveless, bright, form-fitting, and featured low waists and high slits. Designers such as Gabrielle Coco Channel aided in the inspiration and development of these looks. Everyone who could dress up did so to indicate their position and upward progress. And because the iconic fashions of the 1920s, such as simple dropped waist dresses in light fabrics, were more affordable than high fashion had ever been, ordinary people could easily dress on trend. The styles that emerged from the 1920s are often referred to as the democratization of fashion because they allowed everyone to dress up.
Francisco in the 1920s were creative and effortlessly stylish. If we want to live up to our fashion forebears, we may need to improve our quarantine outfits. Was life before is as beautiful as it is today. This is life in San Francisco in 1920s. Please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.